Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name's Mike and uh, I'm an eBay reseller. Um, I buy things at uh, thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, um, any place I can get um, product and resell for a profit on platforms such as eBay and Amazon um, as well as Bonanza. So thanks for joining me. This is a sales update uh, for February 1st through the 15th. Um, 2017 got to get that in my mind um, but these are some things that I've sold and just wanted to share those with you and um, let's just jump right into it um, this was just a mug that uh, we picked up at a thrift store for probably a dollar and um, it's just you know your basic uh, it says you are the luckiest guy in the world um, um, you can see what it says, but just a plain mug. Um, it sold for $22.95 um, plus shipping, so um, not too bad. Um, this next one is a Tumi um, garment bag, luggage uh, piece. Um, if you've seen past videos um, where I bought some things from the estate of Joe Montana, um, this was one of them and um, I did take a best offer I'm gonna jump back over to my main screen here I took a best offer of $425 on this bag um, it was brand new with tags um, uh, I bought a lot of Tumi luggage um, for like $70 at a local auction and um, this has been truly a blessing um, right here so that was a great sale and um, I'm also I'm into um, bicycling and this was an old um, mountain bike uh, shock front fork shock and um, I listed this and sold it within a couple of weeks for let me see I think I might have taken a best offer on this three hundred and twenty dollars so that was another really nice sell and I'm just gonna go ahead and close these as I um, report them to you and here we go Next up, this is a um, uh, a piece for a bike rack, a uh, roof mounted bike rack for its the company's uh, Thule. Um, you might have heard of them before, um, or you've heard Yakima, which is another brand, competing brand. But anyways, this um, tray was, um, I got this for free, believe it or not. Um, from a local uh, local ads, um, uh, it's called Free Cycle in my area, um, but um, you know you can check out Craigslist and they have free items as well. Every once in a while, some really nice items come up, and um, somebody was just giving this away. Um, and let's see, I took a best offer of forty four thirty nine. Not sure why it's thirty nine cents, but um, anyways, it was free and. Um, you know you can't complain about free money so um, this shipped um, locally um, so yeah can't complain um, next up is just a um, this is a uh, co2 cartridge um, regulator um, made by Bontrager it's a it's a oh, terrible photos anyway um, it comes with the CO2 cartridge and then the regulator and this is something that you carry around with you on your bicycle if you have a flat tire and it'll um, instantly inflate your your tire um, rather than carrying a, a large pump or what have you so um, anyways I sold four of these um, and this was kind of a consignment thing my my brother gave me a box of bike parts that he found and um, that was great so um, next up, this is kind of funny. Um, this was another free item that I picked up off um, local classifieds, and um, there were a bunch of motorcycle parts. And believe it or not, it was kind of funny because um, the person only wanted the headlight, and then these metal brackets that fasten this fairing thing onto the front of a motorcycle. They didn't want the fairing; they just wanted the headlight and the two brackets and um, basically let's see I did take a best offer of uh, fifty dollars so that was um, there was a lot it was a gas tank um, a seat um, 
a bunch of other smaller parts but um, so far I've made like pretty close to five hundred dollars off all these different parts that I got for free somebody was gonna scrap them they were gonna send them to the scrapyard and uh, so got that um, and then this is just a leftover from an estate sale um, it's a Waterford crystal decanter it's really nice I probably shouldn't have taken a picture in front of a white background it's kinda hard to see but um, it was really nice it just had a small tiny little chip on the inside um, lip if you can see that um, it was hard to take a picture of but um, other than that it was really nice and I did take a best offer $100 um, so as you can see um, a lot of times you don't have to pay very much for products um, as long as you're just on the lookout all the time um, checking all these different avenues um, but that was pretty much free money right there so okay next up is just these um, Ferragamo shoes um, I did pay twenty dollars for these at a thrift store because I saw that Ferragamos were um, selling pretty well but these sat for quite a while um, probably a good I want to say nine months and I did take a best offer of sixty dollars so I mean not too bad I tripled my money um, you know their shoes are easy to store um, they don't take up a lot of space so um, I think it was worth it and then here's just another mug this is kind of a big oversized like pottery style mug as you can see um, really nice um, you know pottery style it says queen of everything um, I honestly didn't think it would sell sometimes my wife comes home with these things that she gets from thrift stores and I look at them and I'm like ah it's not worth listing and she go she goes ahead and lists list the item and um, lo and behold she had a good eye and uh, this sold so and if you've seen past videos you know about my keen cards that I sell um, so far this is like the top seller right here this is the little thinker um, sold 70 of those so far and I still have like probably a good hundred left um, so that that's been a really good bread and butter item for me I've been pretty happy with that um, and then these are just some it was funny I was at an estate sale and the person owned so many different golf items um, they had golf shoes that were new in the box and people were charging um, you know twenty dollars on up for new with new like um, in the box unused and I saw these off to the side and they were five dollars and they look to be a, pr a pretty good quality um, I never heard of the brand before um, Walter genuine but they you know it said handmade in Italy so they were you know they had all the right things they were made out of leather they were handmade in Italy um, they had the Gore-Tex um, logo on them so um, I picked them up for five dollars and um, they sold for let's see I took a best offer Oh, fifty-eight dollars so I thought that was a pretty reasonable offer for a five dollar investment and um, they sold so I was pretty happy with that um, and then I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the Amazon items that sold on Amazon um, and Amazon's a little more tricky because um, you have an item you click on the listing and I was the only one that had this listing on there and um, basically now it doesn't tell me what the the price was but I believe um, so I bu bought a bunch of these um, share a coke with a person's name on them for a dollar at Walmart um, last year or the year before just as a test um, I heard another person on a podcast um, that sells on eBay talk about these and so I bought like I think a dozen of them I didn't like invest too much money in them and I paid a dollar each um, maybe a little bit less but um, and so far I've sold probably eight eight of them I want to say and I'm selling them for like sixteen or seventeen dollars a piece so pardon me mm. 
And um, so, I mean, you can't beat that, turning a dollar investment into $17. And that includes shipping. Um, they pay for shipping in addition to the price of this bottle of Coke. So sometimes you just never know what's going to sell and you have to kind of experiment. Um, so that was that. And what's up next? Oh, so I also package these Keen cards into a lot of 10 um, and sell that for $54.95 plus shipping. Um, as you can see, it has quite a variety of Keen cards um, with envelopes, unused, all new. So, um, and those have been selling pretty um, regularly. Um, as you can see right here, sold a lot here. And then over here, um, somebody bought the, that same lot, plus they bought a pack of 12 of the Calico Cat. And I'll show you that in just a second here. Um, oh, so that's another lot of those. Oh, okay, let me close this. Okay, Calico Cat. So this is just one card, but a pack of 12, as you can see. Um, oh no, this just shows the one. But anyways, it's a pack of 12. And that's selling for $18.95 plus shipping. Let's see, let me make sure that's correct. Um, what is it? Show me the price. Anyways, I believe that's, that's the price. Um, and then, next up is a textbook. Um, this was my daughter's textbook. She used it for a semester or a quarter um, at her school. And um, I tur turned around and sold it. Um, I don't think I sold it for quite this high, 134, but it was like um, just under $100. Um, so, you know, textbooks, depending on the, you know, how current they are, um, and the popularity, um, they sell pretty well. So that was pretty awesome. Um, and, oh, this is a great story. So my wife and I were at a garage sale and there were many th items in the garage. Um, it was kind of funny because, you know, we were a little disappointed because there weren't a lot of things and, um, but this lady had a laser jet printer sitting on the floor along with these two cartridges. Um, I think, let's see. Oh, so there were two of these. So my wife asked her, um, will you sell just the cartridges? And she kind of looked at her funny um, and thought, well, why do you just want the cartridges? And why not the, the printer as well? And, you know, which she said, oh, I just want the cartridges. So. Um, we paid a dollar a piece for these cartridge um, new in the box. They weren't expired. They were still um, current. And so my wife went, proceeded to go and sit in the car, and she was started to list the, these on Amazon. Um, and so finally, I I ended up buying some other small items um, from the same garage sale. And um, I'm you know I was telling my wife, let's go, let's go to the next one. And she's like, wait, I'm listing these. And I'm like, can't you wait till later? And she said, no, it's super easy to list. So I'm like, okay. So five minutes later, we're off onto the next garage sale. She listed both of these on Amazon. And um, the moment we got home, which was maybe an hour and a half later, um, we got this little ding on our phone. And sure enough, one sold right away. So, um, and it sold for, I believe, um, fifty dollars, and um, I know the prices are in Amazon. The prices are kind of all over the place, um, but the price is up now, higher on these. And so she sold that one for fifty dollars. And so all we had to do is put it in a box and ship it out. And that the fifty dollars, and then also the customer paid for shipping as well. Um, and then the and then like. 90 minutes later, I'm not kidding you, we heard another ding and the other one sold. So um, that was a $2 investment and it turned into $100 in less than three hours or three three to four hours later. So that was pretty awesome. Um, you know, I was, it was kind of funny because I was kind of getting annoyed because I wanted to go to the next garage sale and she was 
say you know telling me to be patient and she listed them and bam they sold within that day so um, you never know what you're going to come across and uh, so that was pretty awesome and then lastly um, last item is this Starbucks mug um, it was funny because I used to always look for Starbucks mugs in the thrift stores and at garage sales and finally I started finding them um, I've sold maybe three or four this may be the fourth one and um, I saw this really nice um, one it's like an Italian um, style hand painted uh, mug really nice condition um, even oh hand painted made in Italy as well for, for Starbucks so um, that was a really nice sale and um, let's see I want to say I sold this for about $40 um, and I paid maybe a dollar if that for this mug um, because it doesn't really look like a Starbucks mug um, you know it doesn't look like their normal mug it doesn't have a logo on it or anything like that it's just a really nice you know quality looking mug um, and it was like in mint condition so except for you know a little bit of um, wear on the bottom so anyways um, so don't uh, count out Amazon. Um, I know that Amazon, uh, we used to send our products into their warehouse, but since the whole um, increase in storage fees, um, we don't send them in anymore. We have a few items in, in their warehouse, but we pretty much pulled everything out of the Amazon warehouse. And unfortunately, we have to store it in our garage. But um, you know we're st we're starting to try to get things organized in there so we can pull things and ship them out more easily. Um, but don't discount Amazon. You, you know you, you can still sell things um, merch merchant fulfilled, which means you you store them, you ship them, and um, but they still sell. And um, basically everything but the printer cartridges were listed on eBay and then that whole um, program called exportyourstore.com um, pulled into Amazon those listings that sold the other listings um, so they were part of the I only listed them once and then they were um, synced to our Amazon account and then they sold on Amazon so um, I highly recommend that you try exportyourstore.com um, I'm only using the free trial right now, believe it or not, and I still get, um, so I sold, uh, I want to say, 12 things on eBay, and of, and then 7 things in addition to that were sold on Amazon, so um, I you know highly recommend you try it out, um, it's worth it, so I'll leave a link down below to the Export Your Store website, um, so you can sign up with them and try it out. Um, but it's totally worth it and then earlier I mentioned Joe Montana the estate of Joe Montana um, I wrote about that in a blog um, it's like the only entry that's in the blog right now but I'll link to that below too if you want to read about that but that's it for now guys um, thanks for taking the time to watch this and I'm hoping that you know by seeing what things are selling that you know, if you happen to see these things, that you can pick them up too and um, be able to make some profit off these things, and you know, um, you know, make some extra money to help out your family or what have you. So, anyways, hope everybody has a great week, and until the next video, I will talk to you soon. All right, bye bye.